We've been telling you for literally months that Donald Trump, despite his changing public rhetoric about this, has been curious about from the very beginning a herd immunity strategy. Now, he needed to be talked out of this in the early days of the pandemic when he was told by Dr. Fauci and others that that would result in the deaths of literally millions of people. And they have claimed to not be following that. But those claims are starting to fall apart with <coughs> Donald Trump multiple times in recent days throwing that term or something akin to it into his public addresses. And we now know that his main medical advisor who's largely pushed out Dr. Fauci, Dr. Atlas, uh, who's not a doctor of uh, infectious disease, by the way, um, is pursuing this strategy. So now look, it's just worked its way into his everyday conversation. Here you go. Here's Donald Trump on herd mentality. <laughs> And we are going to be okay. We're going to be okay. And it is going away. And it's probably going to go away now a lot faster because of the vaccine. It would go away without the vaccine, George. But it's going to go away a lot faster. It would go away without the vaccine? Sure. Over a period of time. Sure, with time. It goes and many away. deaths. And you'll develop, you'll develop herd, like a herd mentality. It's going, to be, it's going to be herd developed and that's going to happen. That will all happen. But with the vaccine, I think it will go away very quickly. Got to take a quick But break. I really believe we're rounding the corner and I believe that's strong. As you know, Dr. Fauci disagrees with that. Well, I mean, but a lot of people do, dis, do agree with me. Okay, so uh, that's not quite three strikes, but herd mentality, it's going to be herd developed. Um, no, that's, that's <laughs> not the actual term, but honestly, him getting the term wrong doesn't matter in terms of the public health consequences. It matters in terms of the narrative of him being better mentally equipped than Joe Biden to be president. When Donald Trump's brain at this point, I have to assume is what you would get if you went around the country swirling your pinky in the like the belly button of millions of people and then collecting what you find into a <laughs> ball and shoving it in his big orange head. That's what he's working with mentally, but anyway, that's not what's important, JR. <laughs> what's important is that he is 100% pursuing a herd immunity strategy, which I will remind people is a strategy of having no strategy and just letting people get the virus. That's it. Yeah, I mean, I, first of all, I'm not sure if anybody's hearing what he's saying, Stephanopoulos. I'm not sure if he picked up herd mentality versus herd immunity. Because um, honestly, it could easily be just a simple slip of the tongue because there's this term called herd mentality and there's a term called herd immunity, right? Yeah, you can get them mixed up if you're speaking quickly, you're just talking off the cuff. I get that. The problem is, is when you go and you're hell bent on making, I'd say 90% of your reelection bid to talk about how mentally challenged and, uh, and senile your opponent is. So if that's the basis for what you wanna do and, and you talk about all this gaps, because Yes, Joe Biden throughout his career has a lot of gaps. If that's your focus, you gotta make sure you don't do it. It's like someone on Twitter. If I'm gonna criticize you for putting the wrong there in your tweet, it's not T-H-E-R-E, -E, it's T-H-E-I-R. If you do that, that means you better <laughs> not ever make that mistake. That's what, that's what happens when you decide to be the grammar police. You cannot make any mistakes or else you're like, oh, I set myself up for that. So if you're Trump and you're running for president, and you want to talk about someone's mental capacity and their and their ability to speak? If you mess up, be prepared to have it thrown right back at you. Yeah, and honestly, I mean, if we, I get it. I've got Trump derangement syndrome because I have some semblance of a value system remaining. I get it. I'm just, I lose it over Trump. Do you have any idea how many of those sorts of gaffes we could play for him literally every single day? When he when he said that Biden got the Nobel Prize, did we say anything about that? Did we do a video about it? No. Countless times he says insane things. He has no idea what is going on, but we generally give it a pass because there's more important things to focus on. The issue here is that there is potential Essentially, nothing more important than this in the short term. If he is actually pursuing this strategy, which again, I hate even using that term because it glorifies what he's actually doing. What he's actually doing is this. Has it have, have do we have heard uh, mentality yet? Or do we got a herd? Have you heard anything about the mentality? Do we got it? And then maybe someday enough people will have gotten it, enough people will have died that we will have moved past it, assuming you can even do that. And again, that's not even established for this particular virus. He is actually pursuing it, and he's being more and more open to just revealing that as he talks. And 
And I don't think that there can be enough focus on that. There was one or two questions about that. And I know Stephanopoulos did some good follow ups on a few things like his his attempts to destroy the ACA and things like that. How can you not have more follow ups on that? Like when they say he spent months saying there were some who wanted to go heard, but I didn't when all we knew at that point was that he had been he had been talking about it. And now he's just casually saying it. He just drops it into conversation like I mentioned the last episode of John Oliver. Like it's just a thing that happens without even realizing it. How can you not respond when the cost is so high? It doesn't matter to him because that's when you have this the, the situation he has when he only gives a damn about himself. When you can only care about yourself, when, when anyone else is brought up, you have no other answer except like you have to pause and go, wait, what does this have to do with me again? Oh, Nothing, okay, I don't care. You just have to find an, a more artful way of doing that because that's what most politicians do. He hasn't figured that out. Okay, yet. well, look, he's he's an absolute idiot. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.